Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Except for today, because this channel has now reached far more subscribers than I ever thought possible, so I need to give a serious thank you to each and every one of you, and as part of that, we are going to celebrate by highlighting some more of your best channel comments. Enjoy. And starting out the shenanigans today, I'd like to point out that there's a really interesting phenomena that occurs on YouTube, whereby literally one second after, sometimes even less, I've posted a video, someone will be there to comment first. And then sometimes you have situations that go a little further than this, like with Fork Corp here, who was so excited that he needed to comment forced second and thawed, and thus stealing gold, silver, and bronze medals at the YouTube Comment Olympics. Next up we have Pokekage, who has some words of gratitude for the existence of this channel. I actually found teching first, and he also wasn't the content I wanted as it was too comedy. And I wanted facts and analyzation, and you gave me that, so thank you. And look, just, just so that we're all clear, this channel does not provide analyzation. Not yet, anyway. I mean, maybe we could make it a Patreon reward or something. But putting that aside for now, we go on to feature Joao Victor Gomes, who was quick to point out something that I'd missed in my One Piece 101 video on Das Bones. You forgot to mention his brother. Diz nuts. And uh, yeah, that's my bad for not doing my research. But just to add a bit of an addendum now, Diz Nuts, like his brother Dars Bones, was a famous assassin hailing from West Blue. And it turns out both of them applied for the position of Mr. One in Baroque Works. Now they happen to be the only two people who applied for the position, and so the ever serious Sir Crocodile was faced with a bit of a dilemma and ended up choosing the one whose name sounded the least funny, which in this case somehow ended up being Dars Bones. And so Diz Nuts returned to West Blue and became an, uh, an, an acorn farmer or something. So I hope that clears things up. Moving on, we have one of my favorite types of comments on this channel, criticism. And Mark Rami Dongogan has some choice words for me regarding one of my anime reviews. Purely bullshit. Seriously? Just bull. Some is precise. Some just full of shit. And look, I'm pretty happy that he at least admitted that some of my criticisms were precise, although to be fair, some just full of shit indeed. Then we have some people who are more specific with their criticisms, like Mithilash Bondili, who took the time to specifically complain about my pronunciation of the name Magellan. Dude, it's Megalan, not Magellan. Lol. And this is a point where I'd usually make fun of whoever the commenter was, but I probably didn't even come close to pronouncing his name properly, so uh, you can have this one, mate. However, I refuse to have any mercy whatsoever in regards to Rizzo Cuck, which I, I would rethink that name, for trying to correct me in regards to special paramecias. A special paramecia is a spatial paramecina. At least I think he was trying to correct me. I might be wrong. Looking back on it, he may have actually had a stroke mid-comment. But to take things a big step further, we then have people who more or less threaten to shut the channel down entirely, like that one Aussie man's here. I disallow every video you upload from now on. And well, damn, I might as well just stop editing this, except just kidding, Australians have no control over the internet whatsoever. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, we don't even exist. And so now I'd like to briefly explore another YouTube phenomena that occurs in my comment section, whereby various people, for no reason at all, will post their One Piece character ships. And I'd like to share one in particular that I found. Robin X Katakuri, anyone? And now this probably doesn't seem like anything so strange on its own, until we realize the man who posted it is none other than Charlotte Katakuri. I'm beginning to sense some ulterior motives in this comment now. And you know what, it all starts to make a bit more sense once we add this comment from just some guy with a mustache into the mix. I almost forgot Katakuri was a middle-aged man who lived with his mother and sat on his ass eating sweets. And just like that, all of Katakuri's fantastic achievements all rendered meaningless due to the simple fact that he never moved out of home. But that's enough Katakuri bashing because it is now time for the Childish Insult of the Week featuring special guest commenter It's Sharp. And this week, what I'm looking for is a way to insult one of the most fearsome individuals in the One Piece world, Fleet Admiral Sakazuki. So It's Sharp, what would you say to Sakazuki? More like, suck a dicky. And you know what, that's, that's not bad at all. But now it's time to get down to business. On the last Best Channel comments, you were all asked a very important question, and that was, are Luf boneless or not bondless? And well, we appear to have our answers. And we'll kick things off with Mestayoku. Luf is clearly boneless because we all know that Bond Clay is currently in Impel Down. A sad truth, but we must all accept the fact that we are all bondless. Mestayoku reminding us that we do truly live in the darkest timeline. However, moving to another sector of the boneless argument, we have William Jackson. 
Loof are boneless till Thriller Bark. Now, Brooke, make Loof not boneless. And you know, I'd, I'd never really thought of it like that. Or like any of these comments, or even the question, to be perfectly honest with you. But here we have another answer, I think, from Carlo of Kachow Labs. No, 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 no. Loof not boneless. He has like four bon. I don't know, though. So there you have it, the opinion of what I'm assuming is some sort of lab scientist who has done rigorous experiments and even published a thesis on the matter. With that said though, this is not the end of the discussion, as I'm afraid the last word simply must go to the wisdom of Excel Down. Loof are clearly boneless, because otherwise, he lasagna. And I feel like that quite adequately puts a lid on this debate, however the discussion must continue, so I would now like to present our inquiry for next time, which comes courtesy of Cheese D Hat. What is the most interesting place Zorro has ever appeared in your house? And I very much look forward to your answers to that. But that pretty much does it for this edition of the Best Channel Comments. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your own hopeful Best channel comments. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. And Mark Rami Dongong and Mark Rami Dongog <laughs> <laughs> and Mark Rami Dongogan and Mark Rami Dongongogan. Fuck your name.